America is not Babylon moment number three. I want to talk about three books uh, that I would highly recommend if you want to study more about the true identity of Babylon in Revelation chapter 17. And uh, these are going to give you the proof and uh, not a bunch of stupid nonsense that it's the Jews that run the United Nations through the United, or the uh, America through the United Nations. Let's look at these books here. First we have this one here, The Two Babylons by Alexander Hislop. Here's the soft cover of the paperback. There's the uh, hardback edition of it. We'll talk about that in a minute. Next we have Babylon Religion by David Daniels uh, from Chick Publications. And over here we have Did the Catholic Church Give Us the Bible? Again by David Daniels. These two books tie very much together, but all three of them are kind of the the three best works, I believe, out there on the whole thing of Babylon, a lot of the practices of ancient Babylon. First, I'm going to show you this one. Um, you have, this is a very good book. It has a lot of uh, old uh, drawings and things from the ancient pagan world, the ancient Babylonian culture, a lot of the things that the people did and, and uh, a lot of the pagan idols and everything. This book was originally the first edition. It came out as a pamphlet in 1853. Now, it's just a shame that Alexander Hislop didn't wait for a few more years, you know, almost 100 years more, to 1945 when the United Nations was formed because then he could have found the real truth of who Babylon was. You know, <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. Uh, absurd. I mean, what are the tie-ins between ancient Babylonian religious practices and the United Nations? But yet you read the two Babylons and you see that Roman Catholicism of today is doing almost identical things to ancient Babylon. Same practices. Yeah. Next we have Babylon Religion here by David Daniels. I'll show you a little bit of this. This one is this this one here is the scholarly work. It has a lot of very, you know, you have the text here, and then you have a lot of the footnotes down in here. I'm not going to zoom in for sake of time, but really, really an amazing book. This one takes this, a lot of this research and puts it into an easy to read kind of a comic book format. A lot of really good illustrations. The, the whole thing is a lot of pictures and, and of course, uh, David Daniels and Jack Chick's sense of humor is just wonderful. You have to be a Bible believing Christian to get it, you know, to understand it. Uh, if you're a Roman Catholic and narrow-minded bigot that they are, you wouldn't understand it. So, uh, But very, very good book. Uh, definitely proves it. And then it gives, you know, um, a lot of the end notes and, and things like that to show you that it's not just drawing and cute little drawings and stuff. He's actually getting it from historical sources. And by the way, let me just say this. Another one of the fun little things that the Catholics do, they'll come out and they'll say, you know, two Babylons was was uh, refuted. The author came out later and recanted of the whole thing. No, that's not true. These Catholic priests will come out and they'll lie about stuff like that. Same thing with Fox's Book of Martyrs. You get that one from the the papists as well. They'll say, "Oh, uh, John Fox, it was it was all lies. It was it wasn't true. It's been disproved." They'll try to throw all these things at you, totally lying to you. They'll do with the Waldenses. They'll say. The, the Waldenses were uh, only from the 1300s or so on with uh, Waldo or something like this. You know, to call Catholics liars is to do them a favor. But, because uh, their whole system is based on lies. <clears throat> but then finally we have, did the Catholic Church give us the Bible? This talks about the Bible version issue. And again, you're going to see a lot of the same illustrations. and not not I shouldn't say same illustrations, but you'll see a lot of the same information between here and here and uh, you know, talking about how that the Catholic Church corrupted the Bible and how that there are new Bible versions with the NIV, English Standard Version, all the other ones, you know, how, they, how and why they differ from the King James Bible. But um, another very, very good book, definitely. I uh, highly recommend this. And um, again, easy to understand and uh, very well put together. And uh, so those are three books that will definitely debunk this whole nonsense teaching that uh, Roman Catholicism is not Babylon or something like this. Don't buy that stuff. Don't listen to them. They're just lying to you. 
I mean, just, just read your King James Bible. <laughs> and look at the proofs of history. Look at the Fox's Book of Martyrs. Look at how the Catholic Church has persecuted. They still have the Office of Inquisition. They still come out occasionally. I remember Pope Benedict came out and it was like, oh, everybody, oh. And he's like, there's no salvation outside the Catholic Church. That's still in the Catechism. Now they'll come out and they'll say, we're all brothers. We all have our paths to God. And, and oh, that's just nice talk. That's Mystery Babylon trying to woo you in. You know, it's kind of uh, like uh, the woman with the attire of an harlot back in Proverbs chapter 7. She comes in with her subtle words and everything else. She lures this young man in, you know, to destroy him, essentially. And that's what she did. She's, you know, her, her house is the pathway to hell, the Bible talks about. So that's what Roman Catholicism is. They'll come out and they'll sweet talk you for a little bit and say, oh, we all have our paths to God and I respect your faith tradition. They don't. They don't for one minute. Vatican II was a smokescreen. Uh, all the Catholic stuff, all the nice little talk, ecumenical talk, it's all smokescreen. Don't believe anything coming from the Vatican. Uh, they are Babylon in Revelation chapter 17. It's not America.